It's taking a super, 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 super long time. <laughs> so we're waiting on our uh, gingerbread house to try. Is that dry? No. <gasps> I think we can try anyway. No, let's don't. Are you sure? No. We still want it to dry. <laughs> what kind of Christmas music do you like? Uh, I know. I don't know that one. Ryan, so you can work on the pink ones, and I can work on, I, I can work on the blue ones, and you can work on the pink ones. Smell. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Is it okay? Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Yummy? Oh, it's good. Yummy. That's a really good. These are done. They're ready? These are. I don't need these stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Up against it. Like that push. Beautiful. Oh. Remember, um, I think we... Ryan? Yes? Do you want to, um, like, when, when you, when, do you, do you know what to do with, with, I do not get Texas weather. It's 72 degrees right now. 72 and, like, muggy and humid. Tomorrow it's supposed to have a high of 30. Ready for tomorrow. We've got two pizzas and some little croissant um, with smart dogs in it for our family Christmas stuff. Wait, Buzz. Wait, Buzz, Buzz. You already ate your dinner. You already ate. You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh, Checking my emails and some editing done and I don't know if Matt's gonna be here tonight or if he's gonna stay with my brother. I just wanted to let you know that today I was like super on track with my intake, feeling really good, workout went really well. Um, and then I ended up having a ton of kettle corn, ton of ice cream with my mom and went way over my macros. People probably see days like this as a loss and they kind of let it filter over into the other days of the week, like I've discussed in Vlogmas and with my journey in general, but I'm not gonna let it bother me because I know that tomorrow's a new day and I can keep moving forward or I can enjoy the day. It's just completely up to me. I'm not gonna stress about it. The people that are in my life don't love me because I'm any degree of leanness or not. They don't love me because of a physique that I have or don't have. So it's important to keep that in mind, especially in the holidays right now. Just focus on spending time with your family. You know, I <laughs> enjoyed the late night snacks with my mom and we just sat and talked and it was awesome. So yeah, I'm not gonna sweat it. 
and we have a family get together tomorrow hopefully i'll get some footage of the fun and we're taking them food i'm taking pizzas uh, vegan pigs in a blanket some dip what else cookies it's gonna be great so i'm gonna get some sleep after i answer some emails i'll see you guys tomorrow I'm having a tofu scramble with some pico and nutritional yeast. High protein because I know we're going to be eating carbs later. Carbs. Lots and lots. Mm -hmm. a little more exciting for you guys but this is what I wanted and I needed some protein so I just made protein sludge and sugar-free maple oatmeal we're gonna go eat this watch Game of Thrones right Correct. young Matthew yes. young Matthew did you have a, a good uh, time yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah good time good times good times. good times we're gonna go climbing tomorrow and I think I might do another Instagram live feed 
because I like that was I don't know I want to keep doing that I think it's fun but of course whenever you guys watch this it'll be over but just keep an eye out I'm gonna be doing more live feeds on Instagram hope you guys have a good night we'll see you tomorrow I discovered this new milk at our store the other day. It's made by Silk and it's a almond and cashew blend. This is three fat, eight carbs, and eight protein. So pretty good protein and I believe it is soy free. I know a lot of people don't, aren't really fans of soy. We like soy, but this is really, really creamy. I put it in the coffee here and really delicious. So highly recommend you guys finding this and then pair it with some of this for the best freaking coffee ever. How cute you are. He's so awkward. Look at the legs. Like little frog legs. What's up, buds? You enjoying this? Yeah. So I wanted to show you guys my outfit for today's workout. So I've got my Push My Cat shirt tied in with the red headband. Headband. And shoes and socks. Yeah. Are you proud of me? For getting dressed? I'm super proud. I did good. Feel good at no, my Christmas outfits. Yeah, no, the Christmas are good. The pants could have been greener. Hi. Where's your Christmas outfit? I, I let Buzz wear it. Mr. Grinch. What? Look at Buzz. Let's see what that camera. Only a few more dates. Here. Right, kitty. Got a package. You shouldn't. Snickerdoodle. Well, I don't need those. Matt doesn't like these. My plan for these, what I would encourage you guys to do, is I do like a little gift bag and I put a cookie in there for the recipient, but I also put a $5 gift card and the gift card is for them to give to someone else. You know, help bless somebody else's day, all that stuff, like whatever. Anyway, Ridiculous. so I got the cookies for that. We're almost done Christmas shopping. You get your dad something. And me and mama. And your mom. But we but know. I already know. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Have a game plan. We're going climbing tonight. I'm going to do a live feed. Bye. All right. So another day, another question that I wanted to um, talk to you guys about. Uh, one of my clients, Jamie, asked, can you discuss the benefits of a high carb and low carb days? Why do you implement them? How do they affect performance? How long have you been doing them and have you seen good results? So in carb cycling, implementing high and low days, whether it's carbs or just your caloric intake, it's another way to manipulate calories. And I feel like since I've been, been implementing them probably for a year and a half or so, they help tremendously with the cutting process. I don't like to have a steady, lower intake through carb cycling, I realized that I actually like to have a little fluctuation in the week because it kind of gives you some days to look forward to. So whenever you have your low days, you kind of aim for those more high volume, nutrient dense, more filling foods. And then on your high days, depending on how many you want to implement, you can have more of the fun foods, more wiggle room. Um, they kind of serve as, as refeed days to help boost your hormone levels as you continue dieting. So it's just another way to keep your body in a caloric deficit. It would be the same as if you were just to keep your calories the same throughout the week. But with my own clients and with myself, I've come to find that I like to try carb cycling first with clients whenever they're cutting, especially if that tends to be too confusing or difficult for them. Then we just go to the steady intake. It just depends on the individual and the goals. But like I said, it helps you. It's just another way to stay in a deficit. How do they affect performance? I, of course, on the higher carb days, you're going to have more muscle glycogen. You're going to have a little bit more energy. So, but I would mostly recommend this just for being in a deficit. So if you are focused on building your intake, building your metabolism, building muscle, recovering hormones, anything like that, I wouldn't necessarily recommend worrying about carb cycling. Usually just keeping your intake steady is gonna be better unless you prefer to have uh, fluctuating days. So it just depends. Whenever I did my show last fall, implemented carb cycling throughout most of the prep and as I started reverse dieting, I kept that carb cycling until my intake was at a good level. So whenever my carbs were really low on my low days, 
then I would still keep my high days and I would just slowly increase both of them. So I was just doing this and then eventually it got to where my low days were at a comfortable intake and I just kind of averaged it out and met in the middle. So hopefully that answers your question, Jamie. If y'all have any further questions about carb cycling or anything of that, leave them below and I'd be happy to answer them. Okay, right, so the rock gym was fun and this is my dinner. It's almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> Please don't make fun of my uh, <laughs> aesthetics here. I tried to make it look pretty and, and pleasing and it did not work. It's a total fail. This is 100 grams of spinach, about 100 grams of pizza sauce, pinto beans that I cooked um, weeks ago but I had them frozen, some mini sweet bell peppers along with uh, one serving of these tofurkey hickory smoked deli slices, which are really, really good. So I've got that protein sludge with 50, 45 grams of protein and 45 grams as in weight. I don't know what that comes out to be protein wise. And one and a half tablespoons of peanut butter. And then just in case you guys are curious, my totals for the day come out to be 153 grams of protein, 293 grams of carbs, 58 fiber and 56 fat. So just an FYI, and I'm gonna give you guys more information on this very soon. Goals are changing, they have changed. Really, really excited about it. I just need to get my thoughts together, get some more details together. If you wanna guess, put it in the comments below. Yeah, what do you guys think I'm aiming for soon? Hmm. On another note, it's just a few days until Christmas. Vlogmas is finishing out strong. I'm really proud of myself that I haven't missed a single day and I don't plan to miss any days in the next three days. That's all I got left. Hope you guys are enjoying. As always, thumbs up if you are. Love you guys. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you all tomorrow.